Hey there! Today I want to share my experience visiting one of the seven wonders of the world, Machu Picchu. Most people start their journey to Machu Picchu from Cusco, Peru. From Cusco, the fastest and most comfortable way to get to Machu Picchu is by train, and it takes around three hours. If you have time, I highly recommend visiting some of the amazing towns in the Sacred Valley. and then take the train from Oyente Tambo to Machu Picchu. This is what I did, and I booked the Peru Rail Vista Dome from Oyente Tambo to Machu Picchu. Once I was at the train station, there is a very elaborate announcement to the passengers to get on board. The main seating area of the train is beautiful with huge windows for looking at the views. The train winds its way through the stunning Sacred Valley, passing by mountains, streams, and small villages on the way. El puesto de control del Ministerio de Cultura. En este lugar existen terrazas de cultivo inca que se extiende por kilómetros. Hoy, las familias que viven en la comunidad continúan dedicándose a la agricultura y cultivan maíz, papa y diversas hortalizas. Gracias por su atención. You can also go to the end of the train, which is an old style train cart with a beautiful view. Soon, the train staff invited everyone inside as they put on the dance of the Sacra. It's a traditional dance frequently performed in the Cusco region. I was having so much fun that the next thing I knew, we arrived at the town of Aguas Calientes. The town itself is very beautiful, surrounded by mountains and clouds. You can find your typical Peruvian markets here and also many street food vendors. There's something about fried chicken that really hits the spot. Alright, see you tomorrow! So the next day, my plan is to take the bus to Machu Picchu and then hike down afterwards. I arrived at Machu Picchu around 10 a.m. after a short ride. It won't be too long before you can already see Machu Picchu in the distance. Machu Picchu is so famous because it's the best preserved citadel of the mighty Inca Empire. During the 15th century, the Inca Empire was the largest in the world, extending across South America from Quito to Santiago. However, during the Spanish conquest, they destroyed almost every Inca buildings in the Cusco region and built a Spanish city over the old foundations. Machu Picchu was spared most likely because its strategic location in the high mountains and it was never found by the Spanish. As you walk around the site, you will see a variety of structures including temples, palaces, and plenty of llamas. It is still unclear what Machu Picchu's original purpose was. Some experts believe it was a royal estate, while others think it was a center for religious or astronomical study. 
You will often see small animals that resemble rabbits around the ruins. They are called viscachas and are residents of the citadel. One of the most impressive structure is the Intiwantana, a stone pillar that served as a sundial. You will also see several terraces. The Incas were master farmers and used advanced techniques like terrace farming to grow corn and potato in the high mountains. Machu Picchu was so well preserved because it was built with a technique called ashlar, where stones are cut and stacked together like puzzle pieces without any mortar. If it's so well together, not even a knife blade can fit in between stones. Even though I've seen many pictures of Machu Picchu, I can truly say that pictures don't do it justice. Every brick, every structure is a testament to the engineering and architectural skills of the Inca civilization. It was an incredibly surreal experience. And walking around Machu Picchu, you can't help but feel like you've been transported back in time. The stunning views of Machu Picchu and the surrounding mountains and valleys are simply breathtaking. Thank you for joining me today. Alright, time to walk back to town.